As you know, crypto gaming is the future, family. But a lot of people have been asking me, Ellie, how did you find Miria and PlayZap when it plays that did a 10x? Miria did a, a 7x. Really, how did you know that these projects in beginning stages were going to do well? Well, there, there's no secret sauce, family. I just bought into the fear when everybody was flooding the projects. I took a chance on them, you know, risk to reward. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about top boom or bust crypto gaming projects under $5 million dollar market cap so get ready pack your bags because i need you guys to make the decision in the comments whether these projects are boom or bust so if you like videos like this make sure that you like subscribe hit that notification bell and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur inside the algorithms without further ado let's get into some of these crypto games now the first project i want to talk about is a bog sitting here at three zero seven nine seven hundred and ninety thousand dollar market cap oozing with potential liquidity two hundred and ten thousand only four point six thousand holders 88,000 in volume family taking a look at some of the tokenomics they do have a 0.01 buy and sell tax and the deck score is sitting at a 99 so we talked about bog in the patreon but what is BOG, Battle of Guardians, right? Battle of Guardians, um, um, a real-time online multiplayer PvP and PvE free-to-play game from PC with a cross-platform multiplayer coming to iOS Android. Love to see the fact that they're coming to um, mobile. You can see here, um, you know, it's one of those Street Fighter Tekken games, right? Um, not bad. And it's also Fight to Earn. They do have a Play to Earn module coming soon a lot of people actually enjoying this game right here um streaming it that's what you want to see from a fight game you know people not focus on the crypto aspect of course it will be fight to earn in the future but again a lot of people seem to be enjoying this game boomer bus what do you think about bog these are some of the investors here you got um, a, a lot of vc capital inside this that actually believe in and for a project that's actually so slept on not a lot of people talk about this it's good to see a lot of VC money, potential partners and investors. Let me know in the chat, family, is this project boom or bust? What do you think about these fight to earn projects? A uh, $700,000 market cap could have some potential there. I'd like to know you guys' opinion. Uh, rapid fire next project we're going to talk about is game gpt now game gpt could possibly be looking to put in a reversal when i first made this video but it didn't record this project was under a penny and i was excited to be able to catch it under a penny now it's one penny i think that there is potential here even though i've been a hard critic on the rebrand aspect of game gpt i don't decide the market the market decides the market and i think that there is a a well, there's a world where their utility and use case will be used. In fact, I plan on using their utility and use case. The one thing about this project, cons, that I don't like is the tokenomics. Absolutely dog water. The self-circulating supply is 1% of the <laughs> fully diluted market cap is 101. And you can see the market cap here is 1.25. 1, 1, 1. So not good tokenomics kind of limits the potential of this project in my opinion now one of the um points of interest that i want to focus on is the ability to utilize their technology to generate a game just like that so you're utilizing gpt technology i'm not sure if they're using um open sensor uh, uh chat gpt or whatever they're using they've created a product where you can utilize gpt to simply create a game and because I'm a developer and I'm working on releasing a project, I will use their utility here to generate a AI game. And I think that this is the selling point for this project and why I think that it could have some massive potential sitting here at a $1 million market cap. I mean, even if it goes to a 500 million FDV, that's still a 5X. Um, and 1 billion would be a 10X. I think that the most that you could get out of this is a 10X bog you probably could do something crazy like maybe a 50x or 100x being that it's under a 1 million dollar mark cap but the fdv of game gpt is so huge that i think it limits the potential this probably has a 10x in it that's about it y'all let me know what y'all think game gpt is it a boom or bust the next project i want to talk about is 
Crypto Force. Now, I really like Crypto Force. I think Crypto Force is a beautiful game from the standpoint of what they're working to accomplish. The chart looks juicy. The market cap is only a $2.8 million market cap. The liquidity here is locked for 26.7 years. Oh my goodness, you don't see that from gaming, but they do have a buy tax 4% and a sell tax at 4%. Um, not bad, because I understand how gaming projects, they need to be able to earn um, liquidity and uh, make their game and constantly update so I can imagine what it takes to actually build a game and why you would need tax now why do I why did this game make the list well first of all if you've seen the intro the intro was from this game they just released a new roadmap we can go over it, it says crypto Forge is a visually stunning play to earn game that merges the excitement of gaming with the opportunity to earn through gameplay it offers both player versus environment and player versus player which is insane right and this is how player versus player and player versus environment makes the use case and utility of this game 10 times better than what it actually is because playing the game right will require you to use your cof tokens here right it will require you to use your cof tokens to actually interact with the game so if you need new weapons new guns new you know in game you can see here uh you have to use your cof tokens here to actually make purchases so even though you can earn the tokens you still will be utilizing them throughout the game which makes which gives the token a lot of value right and it also gives it volume because in order to get anything in the game you have to utilize cof tokens i like how this was built you can see here perfect example in order to transfer cof chips to real world you need to own a min minimum of 1 million cof so you got to use these tokens in game it's not just about trading and selling them outside on the outside market right it's about the, the tokens you earn in game and actually you utilize them to making you your experience in game much much better so you need these chips to do certain things in a game it's going to create massive volume here for the project as you can see seventy three thousand. and the more people that play the game the more volume on the token the more awareness on the token beautiful model here from cof this is a sleeper family boom or bust i would love to know you guys um opinion on this man they got unique maps you know build your own ecosystem um yeah every detail is important player versus player clan versus competition yeah they really went all out with this man they really went all out with this this looks pretty decent i think that this is a sleeper yes it's just one game right first bog and this is only one game we get it i know we love infrastructure and studios but all it takes is for one of these games to really pop and gain adoption. And we can see massive moves from, from crypto gaming, the whole space. Because one pop, guess what? They all freaking pop. The next project I want to talk about is uh, Warped Games. Now, Warped Games uh, uh, of chart here has been absolutely trash, right? A lot of people try to figure out what they got going on, man. Uh, Warped Games, what's up? $4 million mark cap, $1 million liquidity. That's nice. 983 holders, but they can't seem to sway the crowd to actually buy into what they're actually trying to deliver to buy taxes four percent sell taxes four percent they have no games no updates on the website right um this is the only update i've seen on the twitter each step is every changing path reveals a new horizon remember what was embrace what will be we all have a role to play which path will you choose so they they they, they say that they got this this a plus team right um the, creative minds from lego universe star citizen pixar disney star l metaverse project mmo warp nexus but we haven't seen any games we don't see what the ecosystem is actually doing and, and they say why warp well they say influence game design so i guess they help with game design um they it fuels conversion of collectibles web 2 to web 3 game rewards where's the games discount on warped items what are the items potential maybe but what are they actually delivering? And I think that's why you're starting to see massive capitulation from the chart here. Hey, does this, this could this do have, you know, do some Warren Buffett mentality, buy into the fear? Is this the one? I don't know, because at least with Myriad, they didn't really have the games, but they, they had the infrastructure set up. They had, they had the idea. I don't even know what the freaking idea is with this. I, I don't know what this. 
A boomer bust, family. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Warp Games. Hey, I may be wrong. This may be a boomer bust. Next project I'm going to talk about is a Mora. Mora, one penny. Look, Mora is a gem, right? I made a video on Mora. I think it got like 5K views. It's a gem, in my opinion. It's the closest to Gala and Miria that you're going to get. And we're going to be talking about why. Sitting here at a $4 million mark cap, the liquidity is $325,000. Uh, not much lock. We'd like to see more lock. That's a con. 75% of the circulation um, of supply is the circulation. That's a plus, right? Especially when you look at the max supply, I believe, is like $1 billion. Polygon was able to hit $3 at a max supply of $10 billion. So you can see that the potential is there to buy sale taxes three to four percent here family so um the chart has been very strong in fact the chart looks like a damn stable coin right you you know this is nice and they have a cex listing on the way but let's actually get into what more games is i really like what these guys are working to do um they have multiple games that they're dropping as you can see right here this is uh meta lands looks nice right meta lands right earn um earn and a uh, shoot to earn game um empowering digital ownership so we talked about this most games that you buy skins are still owned by the owner you buy anything on call of duty call of duty owns it you don't own it Game, uh, uh, projects like Miria and Mora, they're giving you an opportunity to have ownership within games. They also have a Moraverse, which is featured around augment, um, augment reality, uh, comics, and they're doing some things with esports. The team is a docs, and this is a multi facet ecosystem, so it's also a studio, but they also have games. Karnak is a mobile game. Look at the attention to detail for a mobile game, absolutely fucking beautiful. Uh, Tina, don't know much about that one. Um, Cult with cars, graphics look beautiful. Would love to see what this is. The power of Ra is the comics, and then Mythia is sort of like Farmville. You're building out, um, I guess, Egyptian. Yeah, you get where I'm going now. We'll show an example of Mythia. <laughs> But it looks like a, it's like that Farmville type of, of value to it. And they also family have a studio team is docs, right? Team is docs. And you can see here have some partnerships with some giga giants in the gaming space. Game Swift, Polygon, Altura, Miria, Chainlink and a DA. So I don't know. Mora gets a lot of hate, a lot of FUD. I think it's going to be a premier gaming project sitting here at a four million dollar market cap. And compared to what Warp Games is doing absolutely is not even close and they both have the same market cap so i think a lot of people are bullish on warp because of the team but mora seems to actually be delivering boom or bust family i need to know what you guys think about the mora project here but uh yeah looks nice this is um meadowlands here um yeah busting them with the ak busting them with the mp5 busting them with the sniper let's get it more games in my opinion is a sleeper and here's their mobile game look at the attention to detail on their mobile game looks nice and family they even have a okay and before we get to that this is my the right when we were talking about this yeah this is my it looks like farmville right yeah you build build things out and countdown what's this uh what's this nine day 28th so we got about four more days until a cex listing so this might be the project that you need to keep your eye on right you, you don't want to get in after the cx cex listing if this thing goes parabolic we don't know which cx is listing it right but the fact that they do have a cex listing on the way is a glimpse of hope y'all let me know what y'all think about more boom or bust the next game i want to talk about last but not least is the alaska gold rush here you can see here man it had a nice good pump and has since consolidated and we love to talk about projects when they consolidate not when they go up because we don't chase green candles i was able to get in maria where it looked something like this and it, it exploded cup and handle pattern looks like it's ready to go up after putting in the handle family let's talk about alaskan gold rush sitting here and again a four million dollar market cap uh one billion max supply listed on bnb here not bad not bad um i think that the project has um uh, potential um you get a chance to utilize their open immerse uh world here and again family i mean when you look at what these guys are working to accomplish here you basically mine Karat, which is the in-game currency, uh, and you use Karat for weapons, clothing, food, you know, you making sure your dog good, feeding your deers, uh, you know, uh, knocking down the bricks, going to get some water. But this is the catch. Once you mine the gold, somebody could take that shit from you. 
and you could do the same to somebody else. So in-game currency that you can actually lose because other players either rob you, beat you, shoot you, kill you. You know, you better get your strap ready, your shotgun, because once you mine that gold, somebody is coming. You don't want to run out your booze. You don't want to run out your food. So I love it. You know, very, very similar to something like Oregon Trail, right? But a more, you know, immersed world, right? You get an opportunity to really, you know, live off the land out here in Alaska, mind your gold. You, you know, you got your map, you got to figure out where you're going at, and you got to watch out for other players that's trying to take your gold. You can set up traps and, <laughs> or you can mine, <laughs> or you can mine some more, right? You can, you know, put your door up in case somebody want to come get that gold from you. So I like what these guys are doing, taking a look at the website, get rich or die trying in Alaska, making Web3 gaming accessible for everybody. So Boomer, Boomer Bus, what y'all think about this? I know Classy Crypto covered this as well um this is a very interesting game and they've utilized the in-game currency to um work both ways for both players pvp so love it love to see it the team is a docs and they have some pretty big partners in the space right so um y'all let me know what y'all think about alaska gold rush um, ticker karat right um will you be playing this game will you be playing any of these games boom or bust right which one is your favorite which one is your least y'all let me know this was quick fire about these games quick rapid fire y'all let me know about you know if, if it's boom or bust i don't want to make this video too long but these are you know a few project gaming projects that's under a five million dollar market cap it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you the next one